My name is Park. This is Wayang Gullit Cinema. Here's the question. When I say Malaysian films, what kind of films came into your mind? Does Malaysian films look like this? This. This. Or even. Okay, but most importantly, please don't come back being an angmo, okay? And be like, oh, excuse me, pa, and me, can I please have a cup of tea, please? I slap your face telling you. Turns out, there isn't a single answer to that question. Malaysia is so demographically diverse that a film could be shot in Malay, Chinese, Tamil, English, or a little bit of every languages. So, today I'm going to talk about multiculturalism in Malaysian films. Back then, most of the films were mostly based on folk tales, legends, historical myths, or events like Hang Tuan. Dan anak siapakah kamu? Harap diampun Datuk. Kami berlima ini telah mengaku bersaudara. Yang ini Hang Jebat, Hang Kasturi, Hang Lekir, Hang Lekiu. Hamba adalah Hang Tua. Puan Tiana. Apa ini? Dia cakap dia mahu datang sini mahu tangkap tuan itu semua. Bagus. Tapi itu hantu Melayu tahu. Roger Bersiong or Masuri and believe it or not both Roger Bersiong and Masuri was written by our late Prime Minister Tunku Abdul Rahman as films started to move into urban settings, multi-ethnic casting becomes more and more common. This practice was adopted not just to indicate the diversity of the society, it is also more relatable to our everyday life, and some even reflect social issues. But one of the things about multiculturalism is a certain race would behave in a certain way or speak with a certain accent. Ah, lu tentu pergi itu joget punya tempat, ha? Itu joget perempuan cantik, cantik, ha? Or, in other words, it makes you remember the race. However, there's one director who did it very differently. And even if you haven't seen any of her films before, you probably have seen some of her tear-jerking TV commercials during festive seasons. So, what makes Yasmin Ahmad so unique? 
Instead of trying to emphasize on multiculturalism, she want audience to forget about the race. In one interview, she said, When I make movie, I have different races, right? I want that after 15 minutes, uh, you forget their race. Which, in other words, she moved beyond multiculturalism. In her films, a Malay family could love to watch Chinese soup at home. And a Chinese boy could also dance to And instead of using monolingual dialogue, she let her character converse in a mixture of Malay, English, and various local dialects like how most Malaysians do. I want to make movie really about Malaysian lah. I shoot in Malaysia, so of course all the flavor will, will be there. But I want to make movie about human beings lah. That's why they can cry because it's a human to human thing you see. Indeed, what she did was instead of focus on race, language, and religion. She focused on humanistic values such as love, hope, and forgiveness. And on that note, I will leave you with one of my favorite scenes from a movie, Sepet. มันเลยตกตกคนสวยเหวินไปยาวสัญญาอย่างใกล้ฉ่ำมงมงเลยปัดฟันใส่ตรงผีนหักชนฟงตักอีไม่จี้เก่งมัดมงลง <laughs>